Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow palette wardrobe tag. I believe it's actually just called the eyeshadow wardrobe tag. My bad. I originally saw this uh, tag done on Alex's channel, and this was created as a collab tag, actually, between Morgan Turner and Charlotte Holdcroft. So I will have all three of those channels and their videos listed down below in the description box. So this tag, essentially, the way that I see it, it's about taking different... Uh, occasions or events and instead of focusing on like your actual wardrobe you pick your eyeshadow palette wardrobe so it's basically picking a palette for each one of these events or times and there's 10 of them so we're gonna go through all 10 I have a big pile of palettes stacked up next to me that we're just gonna go through the list and I went through my eyeshadow palette collection this morning and I wrote down every one and I think it's just gonna be fun so let's jump right in the first tag question is if you were a wedding or a wedding guest so if, okay so this is gonna be different for me <laughs> if it was my wedding <laughs> I think I'd pick something different. Probably, I don't know, I really like green eyeshadow. So I feel like I would somehow incorporate green eyeshadow on my wedding day, but I took this as a wedding guest. I actually went to a wedding, uh, 2019, some summer, 20, no, I think it was 2018. It's been a while since I've gone to a wedding, but the last time I went to a wedding, I used the ABH Soft Glam palette because of course I did. Like this is very bridal, very neutral, very glam. Of course, it is soft glam. I have to say, I love the ABH formula and it's stunning in this palette. You basically have everything that you need in this palette for like a warm, neutral, glam look. And to me, this is something definitely I would take with me if I were to go to a wedding as a guest or any other kind of like high class party like that. The next tag question is date night. So what would I wear on a date night? So I love doing big bright eyeshadow looks of course my boyfriend has seen all types of makeup he's seen me without makeup he's seen me with crazy makeup he's seen me with neutral makeup and for date nights i particularly love a good smoky eye like a good traditional blacks grays smoky eye and one of my favorite smoky eyes comes from this milani bold obsessions palette i'm gonna try and not to blind you let's flip it upside down actually um using this last row right here it is a gorgeous smoky eye perfect for date night and this is actually a really good uh, well first of all the um, formula of this palette is amazing i love this palette from milani second i love how it's organized so you've got like a nice neutral kind of row here you've got like a warm neutral row and then you've got a nice smoky row right here and they're just gorgeous looks and they're simple and they're quick perfect and it's got this huge mirror up here which is just like mm, i love this palette so much and it's so affordable too so a nice date night look for me would be like a really nice smoky eye which is right there question number three is girls night now <sighs> i can't remember the last time i actually went out for a girls night and that's not just like 2020 in quarantine whenever i hang out with my friends we stay in we like drink wine we play video games we that's what we do <laughs> i think the last time i actually went out I think we did a dinner um so anyway with that out of the way when i thought of girls night um this flower bomb palette from midas we're just calling my name so it's fun it's bright and if i were to i'm not going anywhere anytime soon but if i were to go out for like a girls night or a girls day or a brunch or something i think these colors would be perfect for that i really didn't like the glitters at first but they are growing on me a bit i tend to stick to use them only on my inner corner or like on my brow bone just because i'm very wary of putting like chunky glitters on my lid because i do have very hooded lids it's a gorgeous palette i do know there's different packaging now i believe i believe it's got yellow packaging so it's no longer in this white packaging but it's a great palette and i adore it question number four is vacation so i did go on a little i didn't technically call it a vacation i call it a staycation so for my anniversary we had like an airbnb for a weekend we literally just ate food drank mimosas and binge watched star wars that's what we did it was amazing <laughs> but for an actual vacation the last time i went on vacation was last october actually we went to washington dc and the palette i brought with me was the Lorac pro palette i love this because i can get anything any look that i might need on vacation am i just going out sightseeing i want to keep it neutral Bam. Are we going out for date night and I want a nice smoky eye? Bam. Do I want something a little bit deep in the middle? It just, it's got everything. And then I love that it's got these dark browns and this black so I can actually multitask and use the black like in my brows, uh, in my hairline, or as a liner. And it's so thin and compact and sturdy. It's a perfect travel palette. <laughs> so this is definitely one I would take with me if I ever were to go on vacation or travel. 
and if I were to go on vacation or travel and know I want to do makeup. The last time, like the last weekend that I spent away, I didn't really bring much of any makeup with me at all. <laughs> Question number five is graduation. So what I would wear to like a nice graduation ceremony, I would want something bright and light, but charming. I don't know. That's kind of the words that I thought of. And to me, that is the Kylie Cosmetics, the Peach Extended Palette. Like this to me, I love peach eyeshadows. They're so pretty. And this is my favorite. It's my favorite so far, peach palette. I actually did a battle of the peach palettes video. If you miss it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this to me would be perfect for like um, a work ceremony or a graduation ceremony because you can get a nice deep neutral-ish look but you still got some little pops of color and you've got some really nice shimmers in here. So this is what kind of what I would pull out, want to play with, want to have if I were doing a graduation ceremony. Though I think I've got pictures of like my high school graduation. I think I just wore liner, like eyeliner and like that was it. Question number six is Christmas day. Now I am cheating a little bit here because I don't actually really wear makeup Christmas day because what we do is my family we traditionally we go over to either my uncle's house or my family will come over here we do like a big sleepover and then in the morning first thing we all get up and we open presents we don't have to wake up that early because the youngest kid in my family now is like she's in college so like we don't have any little kids running around thank god <laughs> can you tell I'm not really a huge fan of kids but so we do that and so normally like I just woke up I'm having coffee that's Christmas but Looking through my collection for the perfect Christmas palette, I came across, of course, the um, Pat McGrath Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette, which was a holiday release, I believe 2018. It's kind of hard to hold this up and not blind you. There we go. So this is definitely a Christmas palette. It looks gorgeous. I just don't reach for it as much. I actually really considered panning this palette, but it's a little small and it's kind of boring and it's not something I would want to spend like a whole year working on, right? But I do need to bring this out. I think I tried bringing this in, um, in like a seasonal project pan a couple years ago and I just never did it. So I might try to bring this out a little bit more, but we've got a gorgeous, gorgeous, Words. We have a gorgeous red uh, shimmer. I believe it's a duochrome. And then we've got this uh, really nice neutral shades and then this deep green that is stunning. Like this on the lower lash line. Blah. Chef's kiss. It's a really pretty palette. I just don't reach for it <laughs> that all too often. And and that, that being said, I would never wear this like on Christmas. I'm not the one, I mean, with the way that my family celebrates Christmas, I'm not getting up early enough to do a full face of makeup before we actually do anything. But it, it is a really gorgeous Christmas palette. Probably wear it on Christmas Eve, actually. Question number seven is birthday party. What would you wear to a birthday party? Now, I don't really have birthday parties. If you don't know, my birthday is actually December 22nd. So like literally right before Christmas. And when I was growing up, we really couldn't have parties on my birthday because like nobody would be in town. Like... <laughs> Anyway, so I don't really do birthday parties. If anything, we do like a dinner. Um, and for me, what I would want to do on my birthday is a Natasha Denona green look. So I pulled two palettes out. So we've got the green brown palette, of course, because so many greens in here. This was recently a part of my HP Project Pan um, 2020 version. If you missed that project, it's almost done. I've got like two more months left. I'll throw the playlist up for that project in the cards. But these green shades are stunning. I spent a lot of time with them. They're gorgeous and I would definitely want to go for like a nice smoky dramatic green look from here. I cheated by picking in like two palettes for this so the other palette is the Metropolis palette and stunning just I would definitely go for like these greens and blues down here maybe do this shade all over the lid just endless possibilities here but I do know if it was me and if it was my birthday I would want to do a really really nice deep green smoky eye. Question number eight is the office so I mean, nowadays, I would say ever since quarantine started, I've been wearing just about any eyeshadow to the office because everything is online only. Um, but back when I was doing more makeup specifically for the office, when I actually traveled to the office, I used a lot of um, ABH subculture last year, a lot of utilizing looks there. But the one palette that really jumped out to me as a palette that I could use and like get office appropriate looks every day, but then also still have fun with was the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. This is the original palette and 
it's stunning. So we've got a lot of neutrals up here that you can work with. A good everyday work look could probably just be these three shades, the mattes, and then you've got these baked shimmers all around the edge. And you can just do a really cute pop of color on the lower lash line. I used to love doing that when I actually went into an office. I was doing a very neutral look on top and then just a bold pop of color on the lower lash line because it doesn't stick out as much in an office environment. But oh, this is just a great palette. The only downside to this palette is the shade in the middle is supposed to be a highlighter. It's not really a great highlighter. It doesn't blend out that nicely, at least on me, <laughs> on the cheekbones. But it is a perfect inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight. That kind of thing. I definitely would recommend this original Zodiac palette. I also got the Zodiac Love Science palette, which was all right. It's definitely more, of course, Love Signs. It's like pinks and purples, which are shades I really don't reach for as often. And I just picked up the newest one, the third Zodiac palette, but I have not used that yet, so I can't really speak to that one up, like at all. Question number nine is errands or everyday go-to. Now, for me, this is a bit of a difficult question because for me. Like, I don't have, like, I have such a big collection that I like using different palettes. I don't have a certain thing that is, like, my go-to palette other than, like, whatever I'm panning as I pan that palette for the year. But going through my collection and finding a good, well-formulated, affordable, great palette that I could reach for every day, I came across the ColourPop Yes Please palette. This is their OG, their first palette. And I could see myself reaching for this. You've got neutral tones, you've got bright pops of color, an orange, a red, a yellow. You've got cute, gorgeous shimmers here. And I did rearrange my palette so if it looks different, that's why. But I made the bottom row all shimmers and then the rest all mattes. And I don't know, it's stunning. I, I really wish... I wish ColourPop had... I know, like, their entire business model is based off of, like, the makeup fash, fash, fast fashion in the makeup world. But I just, I really wish they would have taken more time and like curated a really good selection or catalog of just really good palette, like permanent palettes. Like they constantly come out with these limited edition blah blah blah, like I'm sure they're making a lot of money off of it, but like in the long run, like... Like, I love the Good Sport palette. That was actually one of their best palettes ever. But that was a limited edition, and, like, now I can't really recommend it to anyone unless they already own it. And not that many people actually have it. Um, this is one of the... This is the OG, so this is the one that's always going to be in stock because it's their very first palette. But I really wish that they had... I don't know, just put a little bit more thought into what could have been their permanent line. Like, I really wish they would do more of that. I can, of course, see why they didn't, just because they're making tons of money, I'm sure. Just throwing out limited edition things, you know, left and right. But I don't know. I just, I, I, I miss the color pop that was when this came out, you know? <sighs> oh, we got a bit off topic there. Anyway, back to the tag. <laughs> Question number 10, the final one is New Year's. Now, I actually cheated on this, too, so I have two palettes, and they're both from Huda Beauty. So, uh, I think it was last, it was either last year or the year before, I'll throw the card, or I'll throw the video up in the cards, I did a smoky eye tutorial, and I believe it included this, uh, Smoky Obsessions palette. Um, I mentioned earlier, I love a good smoky eye, nothing beats a good black and silver smoky eye for New Year's, especially if you're um, celebrating like with the midnight countdown. And this palette is mwah, perfect for that. Again, uh, great formula, really pigmented shades, and the packaging is just perfect. It's tiny, it's compact, it is sturdy. So you can take it with you if you happen to be traveling for New Year's, which this year I am not. <laughs> but this is definitely something I would wear for like the midnight countdown New Year's. On the other hand, uh, my boyfriend's family celebrates New Year's as an all-day thing. Like, we wake up early, we do breakfast with his mom's side of the family, and then we kind of do our own thing in the middle of the day for lunch, and then for dinner we go visit his dad's side of the family. And for that kind of all-day affair, I actually wore this last year. This is the uh, Nude Light palette, and it's just a really pretty nude shade. It was really pink, pink leaning. I got compliments when I wore this, of course, around his family, and it's just a really good neutral palette without being boring like this is a very neutral very light palette but i'm not bored by it and it still looks really pretty and again the packaging it is very compact very sturdy great to travel with because i did have to stay over at my boyfriend's family's house for this but 
yeah so we've got the two ends of the spectrum for new year's which is why i had to cheat and put both the palettes in so that is everything for this tag oh i love doing tags like this it is so much fun and like with my notes earlier i like just sitting down in front of my collection and like thinking and like reorganizing things and just really doing thought experiments like that it's so much fun if you guys like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed i hope you would consider subscribing thank you guys for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.